<laughs> I like how he was smiling as he's breaking the law. It's kind of weird. <gasps> oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Huh? Oh god, no, no. Ren? Oh! But as the footsteps approach, two men emerge from the shadows. And the moment I realize who they are, my heart stops. Oh my god, it's the twins! <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Dramatical Murder, uh, Ren's Route Part 3, I believe, yeah. Um, it feels like we just started, but we're kind of already, like, halfway through it, I think, so there's that. Um, sorry about my voice, by the way, guys. I literally just woke up not even that long ago, but, you know, I had to re-record this because my stuff is glitchy and I hate it, so there's that. <laughs> But I'll still be able to react for you guys, because of course there's that. <laughs> so last time on Dramatical Murder, in the last episode, uh, Ren ran off for some reason, because he guess he just felt like it. We met somebody, I believe his name was Say, yeah, and now we're planning on breaking into Platinum Jail, or not, not Platinum Jail, we're breaking into Oval Tower, because we want to stop Toei in his whole celebration BS. And of course, Alba nearly lost his temper while trying to, while some guy was, you know, saying hooray for the old residential district while Toei was mind controlling them like a fucking bastard. <laughs> I have to God, I'm not getting sick either because my throat's a little bit scratchy and I got a bit of a cough, but I should be fine. So excuse the voice and excuse the thing. Anyways. Let's continue, shall we, and see what's going on with Ren and do all that jazz. Okay. <clears throat> all right. Morning comes without me getting much sleep. I drag my weary body out of bed and leave the room. When I sit down in the den and turn on the TV, they're playing the same event coverage as yesterday. After the report on the parade, something new appears on the screen. The image wakes me right up. The newscaster is cheerfully describing a sight even more bizarre than what I saw yesterday. Ooh. It's kind of creepy. Everyone is smiling. And it's not like they're enjoying themselves, at least not what I, not that I can tell. These are eerie, mask-like smiles plastered on their faces. These eyes above them are, are vacant. I can hear them cheering while the up while the reporter babbles about how even the old residential district is looking forward to the event. No, I can hear that all. Yeah. They they look just like all those people in front of the tower yesterday. Did that music do this? Is everyone okay? Without thinking, I open my coil. Unsurprisingly, no one has responded to my messages. Still, I try calling them. No connection. I don't know that anything's happened to them. In fact, they're probably fine. If anyone can handle this, it's Granny. <laughs> Still, fear coils in my gut. What if Granny and the others are affected? Try as I might, I can't stop myself from imagining the worst. I get up, I get up off the couch. For a moment, Ren looks like he wants to say something, but then he jumps off the couch and follows me. I get dressed, put Ren in my bag, and run out the door. 
It's hard to walk with the party parshies, partiers. Is that how you say it? I think that's how. It's hard to walk with the parties with the partiers filling the street, not to mention the obvious security everywhere. I head for the tower, keeping as much distance as possible from the guards in the, on the way. I missed them yesterday due to the crowd, but the front of the tower is crawling with security. It doesn't look like something I can break through on my own. I opened a map on my coil. マップ上ではエントランスの反対側が従業員と搬入用の通用口になっているようだ。この辺かな。警備も薄いかもしれないし。there's no time to waste. I head to the back of the I head to the back of the tower. The service entrance is, is dark in the shadow of the tower. There are only two guards. I reach into my bag for the stun gun Mr. Haga gave me before I left. There's a tall flower bed next to the gate. It will serve to mask my approach. I crouch down behind the, t behind the flower bed, still my breathing, and creep toward the closest guard. Just a little more. Now! What? Oi! <laughs> I knock the closest guard out with a roundhouse kick, then shove the stun gun into the neck of the second. He goes down instantly. Damn, this thing packs a punch. He's not dead, right? Mr. Haga said he built it himself, so he, he's probably fine. <laughs> Ren pops his head out as I'm groping around the chest of the second guard. I pull the guard's ID from the round his neck. <laughs> I like he was smiling as he's breaking the law. It's kind of weird. I take the card and run to the door. A touch and the door opens. I step through into a long hallway. So this is the inside of Oval Tower. I've heard that part of the tower is open to the public, but we came in through the back entrance, so there aren't any guests around. I hear some footsteps, probably guards on patrol. As I walk carefully down the hall, I eventually see an elevator. Two guards are stationed in front of it. I immediately slip into the side hall, peeking around the corner to observe the, co the guards. There isn't anything to hide behind this time. What do I do? Uh oh. I turn around to see a guard standing at the other end of the hall. Fuck! He must come out of one of those rooms. Now I hear the guards by the elevator approaching. But at that exact moment, the elevator opens and a well dressed couple steps out. Guests? The guards at the elevator are momentarily distracted. Now's my chance. I dash out of my hiding spot and sprint for the elevator. The couple flees and the guards try to stop me, but I slip past them into the elevator just as the doors start to close. I kick the guard away and yank my foot back. Uh oh. But just as I think I'm safe, another guard kicks his hand sticks his hands between the doors and tries to pry them open. Shit. 
I pull the, I pull out the stun gun and jam it into his hand. He jerks back. Ren jumps out of my bag and hits one of the buttons with his paw. The door closes before the guards can recover. No time to waste. I get up and press the button for a random floor. The elevator shakes, then starts to ascend. I must have smacked my shoulder on the floor when I slid into the elevator. I crouched down next to Ren, rubbing the joint. Nice, <laughs> Oh, how cute. <laughs> sure, Ren. I pick up Ren and put him to put him back in my bag, but something makes me stop. Huh? Oh my god. There's something glistening by Ren's eye, like a drop of water. I reach for it, but Ren turns his head away. Ren? Buddy? I recall how Ren pushed my face away when I tried to rub foreheads with him. Nothing like that has happened since, and with everything else, I almost forgot about it. But now... Oi, Ren. ね、見せてみろって。今はそんな些細なことを気にしている場合ではないだろう。些細なことそうだ。些細なことだ。これから先のことを考えれば、優先するべきことではない。何言ってんだよ、お前。I bring my face closer to his, ignoring the fact that he's avoiding me. 何度も言ってるだろ。お前がダメになったら困るって。青葉の足を引っ張るような事態にはならないように努力する。そういうことじゃねえよ。オールメイトとしての機能が果たせなくなったら、俺はただの廃棄物だ。そうならないように。おい、やめろ。なんだよ、それ。何言ってんだよ。
Better find Ren and get out of here. Oh my god, the music. Where the hell did he go? If I don't find him soon. <gasps> oh my god, wait, 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 wait. Huh? Who was that just now? I see a man moving through the crowd. Is that... Me? Ooh. <gasps> Oh my god, okay, the migraines are back. Pain rips through my skull. The world whirls around. The room whirls around, whirls around me. My double vision... My, my vision doubles and triples. I stagger. Sounds distort and repeat like a damaged tape. I can't hear anything through the noise. What the... My head pounds in time with my pulse. My legs feel like lead. I can't take another step. What's happening? Oh my god. Wait, what? <gasps> Suddenly I hear a voice in my ear. なんでそんなに大切かって考えたことある。What? <gasps> Who's speaking? I can't see him. I can only hear his voice. The pain is getting worse. 本当はわかってるんだよな。だってお前は。うるさい。でも、お前はもう決めたんだ。そのまま突き進めばいい。思うがままに。Oh I think Alba's having a psychotic episode. 誰もお前を止めることはできない。本当のお前を止めることはできない。Oh my god. Everyone in the bathroom turns to look at me. They're laughing. They can s they see that I'm in pain. And they're laughing. And then, just like that, everything is back to normal. Conversation washes over me. The world stops spinning. My meat my feet move as they as they always have. What? What just happened? Oi, I stop. Shit. A guard points from afar at the end of the ballroom. From the far end of the ballroom. Right, I have to find Ren and get out of here. I push I push my way through the confused guests, keeping a close eye on my feet. The guests part trying to avoid me and a path opens to the crowd. And that's when I see a blo a small blue shape scamper by. <gasps> there he is! <sighs> He's... Just then, several guards appear in Ren's path. Oh god, no, no! Ren! Oh! Oh! One of the guards flashes out as Ren tries to escape. I hear a dull thwack and see his body, round body bounce across the floor! No, Ren! <laughs> I dash to his side and scoop him up. The guards surround us with their guns drawn. The guards holster their guns and grab my arms. <laughs> I clutch Ren tight to my chest, trying to protect him as I struggle to escape. Let go of me. Ren! And then suddenly a searing heat flares inside my brain. Oh my god, his vision's getting red. Shit, my head! Feels like it's gonna split open. Ren. Ren! Oh my god. <gasps> S 
ここにいるやつらは全員。Oh my deep voice is like so different than when he usually speaks. Oh my god. This again, okay. I know what this is. The dream again. The one where I can't move, where my body is being eaten. It's happening. My right arm is already gone, and my left leg as well. Now the darkness nibbles at my remaining limbs, itching closer and closer to my core. There's no pain, only the shock of loss. And a sound that I can't hear, only feel. The sound of bones crunching. My limbs are gone. Next comes my... My... With each bite of the darkness takes on my torso, something in in seems to grow inside me. An impulse. The impulse to destroy. Just like the darkness consuming me, I want to destroy everything. Destroy. 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 Oh my gosh. Let's just destroy over and over again. That's my true desire. My true desire? <gasps> Whoa! My true... Oh my god. Okay, this is just automatically, guys. I'm not doing anything. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Destroy, 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 destroy. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Huh? <gasps> okay. Was I just... I don't... Did I fall asleep? Here? I feel like I just had a nightmare. My heart is pounding and I'm drenched in sweat. A word rises to the surface of my thoughts. Destroy? Destroy what? Uh-huh. I need to take my medicine. <gasps> That's when it finally hits me. The ballroom is silent. Everyone has collapsed. <gasps> How did this happen? I remember coming in here after Ren. And then... <laughs> a memory rides in the pain rides the pain into my skull. It's vague, like a dream from a long time ago. I can't take heads or tails of it. Make heads or tails of it. What am I doing on the floor? What in the world happened here? I scan the hall, a short distance away I see a blue shape also lying on the floor. That's <laughs> Oh no. I jump up and run to a side, the pain in my head forgotten. Oh no! I scoop his limp body up, but he doesn't respond. No matter how many times I try to start him up, his eyes won't open. The blood drains from my face. Is this related to the issues he's been having? 
It happened so suddenly. <laughs> no, Ren! I swallow the lump in my throat and stick Ren in my bag. I want to repair him right this second, but it's too dangerous to stay here any longer. I need to find somewhere safe, so I head for the door at the back of the ballroom. Behind the door is a staircase. I climb out to the next floor, keeping an ear out for any guards who might be following me. My headache gets worse as each step I take, but I somehow manage to keep moving. <gasps> Shit. Getting dizzy. My strength gives out. As I reach the landing, I stumble to the wall and slide to the floor. <laughs> Desperate, I dig through my bag for my pills. I cram a few pills down my throat, hoping they'll work fast. <sighs> Sweat drips down my forehead to my chin. All I can do now is wait for it to work. I'm still breathing hard when I open my bag and set Ren in my lap. I try to start him up again, but his limp body won't move. My heart aches to see him this way. What happened to you, Ren? No, oh my god. I open my coil to check his status. The diagnostic is a mess of error messages. Basically, nothing is working. <laughs> I try to use the diagnostic tool to restart him, but that doesn't work either. Exhausted to be on measure, I close the diagnostic and hug Ren tight. No, oh, Ren! Like this, Ren is little more than a stuffed animal, an empty shell. It's unbearable. What if. What if I can't bring him back? I'll do what I can, but Ren's an old model, so a lot of his parts are out of production. Can't imagine having an all mate, a partner, other than Ren. Something I've always taken for granted is slipping away. Reality is an inescapable mire of despair. It's not like I've, n it's not like I've never thought of living without Ren, but imagining it is totally different than from having it actually happen. I'm only now starting to realize how much I depend on him. <laughs> When I close my eyes, a familiar face comes to mind. Granny. What am I supposed to do? Believe in the path I chose and keep pushing forward. That's right. I can't stop here. I had to stop Toei and save everyone back home. No matter how much it hurts, I can't hesitate. There we go, we got some bravery going on here. <laughs> I put Ren in my bag and climbed to my feet. My headache is still going strong, so I start back up the stairs anyways. I need to get higher. I need to get to Toei. I don't have a choice. I'm the only one who could stop him. I make my way up the stairs one step at a time, using the wall to support myself. After what feels like forever, I find my path blocked by a door. Is this the top floor? I approach the authentication screen and present the ID I pulled off that guard at the service entrance. The floor is nothing at all like the ballroom. It's just a white, it's just a cold white hallway, absent decor. I have to keep moving. Guards will be on my tail, but my headache keeps getting worse. I can't think straight. I took my pills. Why isn't it getting better? I pull the bottle from my bag, tilt my head back, and pour. Oh god, that's a bad idea. A few pills spill out of my mouth to the floor. 
It's probably a bad idea to take so many at once, but I can't think about... But all I can think about is getting my headache to stop. I drop my, the empty case back into my bag and slowly make my way down the hall. Ragged breaths swill from my lips as I stagger along. My vision is blurry and my throat is dry as a desert. If they, if they find me now, I doubt I could escape. Still, I focus all my strength on pushing forward. After dragging myself far, a fair way down the hall, I hear a door opening ahead of me. Two white-clad men step out. Shit, there's nowhere to run. Oi, are... <laughs> Shit! Can't, I can't let myself get caught now. Not after I've gotten this far. <gasps> okay, this again. Ooh. Okay, he's in control now. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god, Alba, you're scary now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> Holy shit, Alba. Oh my god. So that's how Alba breaks people with scrap, huh? <laughs> the men in white are laying on the floor, foaming at the mouth, their eyes well their eyes wide open. They're broken. I broke them. This time I saw what happened. I was aware, but I had no control over my actions. I watched myself destroy those men. Their minds. What happened to the party guests? That must have been my fault, too. <gasps> oh god. It hurts. It hurts so much. Them. Oh my god, Alba! What? Oh my god! Am I hallucinating? No. There was a voice in my head. My voice. Oh my god. The room is spinning. The world goes dark. The voice grows to, to encompass everything. Oh my god, it's rippling. Oh my god, no! Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh god, oh god, this is getting scary! お前だよ。散々力を貸してやっただろう。だからここまで来られた。お前だ。今だってそうだ。だからそろそろ俺がお前になってもいいよな。ふざけんなよ。<笑> Oh 
自分が何なのかどういうことになってるのか I don't what's going on Oh god <gasps> お前自分が知らないと思ってるだろう違う本当は知ってるんだよ Oh my god でもお前はそれを認めようとしない Holy shit 認めない限りお前は何もわからないままだ何もできないすべて中途半端で終わるでも俺は知ってる誰よりも知ってる俺はお前だからだから俺が変わってやるすべてを知ってる俺がディアムデスミュージックスバック代わりにお前として生きてやるよだから黙れ変われ黙れ俺と変われ Oh my god 黙れ黙れ変われよ俺と変われ。Oh、my god! うるさい、黙れ消えろ消えろ消えろ<笑> I can s k i p it again, god damn it. My vision suddenly clears, leaving me gasping for breath. What? What just happened? Was that a dream? No. That was no dream. Those two men are still lying on the floor in front of me. I really did this to them. He might have been in control, but still. I'm the one who destroyed these men. He said I've been borrowing his power. Is he talking about Scrap? That's his power? Lately, I've been getting headaches whenever I use Scrap. Or just before something crazy happens. Is that him, too? Maybe the headaches are just a side effect. Is this like having, person, having multiple personalities? He asked me to switch with him. What happens if we switch? Obviously, I won't be me anymore. He'll take over my mind and control my body. I can't let that happen. If Scrap really is his power, then I'll probably be able to use it without limit. He'll destroy everyone. But I recall his words. They pierce my heart like thorns. Oh my. Jibunga Shiranai to Motiridaro. Chigaru. Onto a stirundayo. De. Oh my was sorry, oh me to me o to shinai. Me to me nai kagi. Oh my wa nanimo a karanai mamada. Nanimo de kina. すべて中途半端で終わる。Admit it? Admit what? The idea that I know something that deep down, I know it too. It frightens me. Anyway, I have to use using scrap from now on. <laughs> My headache has receded somewhat. I set my sights on the door from which the men had. From which the men in white. <gasps> Beyond that door, the hallway continues. At its end, another door. I check the men before I go, they're breathing, which is at least some relief. I stand and start walking. The next door is locked with an authentication screen. The card I stole from the security guard doesn't work. Seeing no other choice, I go back to the men in white and grab the card off one of, on one's neck. Huh? Whoa, okay. This is new. This time the door opens. So, like, cryogenic tanks or something. I hesitate for a moment before entering. 
The room is dark except for the blinking lights of the machines. It's eerie, like a bunch of eyes staring at me. Large tanks full of fluid line, a, fu a fluid line both so Oh, sorry. Large tanks of fluid line both of the sides of the room, their contents unidentifiable. I see what looks like patchworks of different animals, big masses of hair, all sorts of horrible stuff, glistening, twitching. I even see what looks like human body parts attached to other objects. For what purpose, I can't imagine. What the hell is all this? Once I'm sure that no one is inside, I cautiously enter the room. They must be doing some kind of research here. But what? What purpose could these monsters serve? And where do the human parts here come from? This is a fucking nightmare. My eyes are drawn to a woman with a tail of a fish where her legs used to be, a mermaid. She's looking at me. Whoa! <gasps> the mermaid with milky white eyes knocks on the glass with her hands. Her mouth flaps open and closed. <laughs> Unless I've completely lost my mind, the other creatures are looking at me too. Oh my god. Hold up! This is the beginning message in the game! Oh my god! Oh my god. In the haste of flee, I grab- I crash into something hollid. Solid. Morphe, no! A man has, has appeared behind me. No, more than one. I try to escape, but they catch me and pin me to the to pin me to the floor. Who the hell are these guys? I turn my head to get a look at their faces, and that's when I see the mark on their jackets. That's morphine. The sound of footsteps cuts through the terror. Guards. It's so dark, I can't really see. But as the footsteps approach, two men emerge from the shadows. And the moment I realize who they are, my heart stops. Oh my god, it's the twins! Haven't seen them in a while. Yeah. Oh Oh my god. Fuck off. Omaira. Virus and Trip. Why are they here? Virus cocks his head to the side and smiles. Dooste ore tachi ga koko ni iru no ka te omotte masu yo ne. Sou yu kao shite masu yo. Oshiete agemashou ka. Sugoku kantan na koto desu. Sore wa ore tachi ga moru hine dakara desu yo. Fuck! No way, what? He's fucking with me, right? How can they be a part of morphine? Okay, yeah, you're the boss, right? そんなつもり全然なかったんですけどね。そう取られても仕方がないということは分かっています。俺たちがアオバのファンっていうのは事実だけどな。ま、俺たちのことはどうでもいい。取るに足らない話です。そんなことよりあなたの方がよっぽど
青葉さんあなたはご自身の出生についてはご存知ないのですねはあ<笑> Fire smirks What? What is going on here, star? ですよねそれではせっかくここまでいらっしゃったんですしお話ししましょう先ほども言いましたが青葉さんあなたはセイさんの双子の片割れなんです東映が長年の研究の末ようやく手にした最も理想的な力東映の力の源であるセイさんのねあなたはセイさんと同じ東映財閥が所有する研究所で生まれたんですよ能力特化の遺伝子操作によって作られたデザイナーベビーですそしてセイさんはあなたの兄あなたたちは二卵性の双子なんですよえ I was designed and say is my brother my twin あなたを生み出す能力特化の理論のベースとなったのはあなたのおばあ様の研究なんですおばあ様はデザイナーベビーのために自分の研究が使われるなんて夢にも思ってなかったらしいですけどね表向きはただの脳の研究ですからあなたたち双子は生まれつき人の心を操る能力を持つように設計されていましたただ命というのは不思議なものでどれだけ綿密に計算してもその通りに生まれるとは限りませんあなたたちは特殊な能力を宿しましたが全身の色素が抜け落ちた状態で生まれましたはあわあオッケーさらにセイさんとあなたとは髪がつながっていた神経も通っていたそうですよあなたの髪に感覚があるのはその名残でしょうそんな先天性の異常を持ってあなたたちは培養期から出てきたんですしかも不運なことに二人は生まれながら死んでいたセイさんは髪を切断した時に息を吹き返したそうですが青葉さんの呼吸は止まったままだったそうですおばあさまは自分の研究が意図せぬ実験に使われた上生まれてきた子供が死んでいたという事実に大変心を痛められたはあそして死んだあなたの体を引き取って研究所を辞めたんですせめてあなたを人間として弔ってあげたいと思ったのかもしれませんところがあなたは途中で息を吹き返しました生き返ったんですよおばあさまはきっと驚き喜ばれたんじゃないでしょうか okay, virus, how the hell do you know about this? 自分が殺したようなものですからねけれどおばあさまはあなたを故郷であるこの島の教会に預けて立ち去りましたどうしてそんなことをしたのかお分かりになりますかこれは俺の推測ですがおばあさまは曲がりなりにも研究者ですあ,あなたを純粋に可愛がり育てようとしてもどうしても研究者の目で見てしまうだろう自分が許せなかったのではないでしょうかあなたはその後色素も普通の人間と同じになりやや自分の世界に閉じこもりがちではありましたがすくすくと育ったというわけですそれにしてもあなた方兄弟の能力は素晴らしいあなたは声でセイさんは目で人の心を虜にする。Okay. Ah! Okay. 
hey, how does Virus know all this? How does he suddenly know our backstory? That's just creepy. I feel like he's been stalking us since we were kids then. まさしく神の賜物ですよ。さて、俺が知っているのはこんなところです。何か聞きたいことはありますか？Yeah, <笑> how the fuck do you know all this? Have you been stalking us? I swear to God, if you have, oh my God, no, oh, this is so weird. <laughs> そう思いますか。すべてアオバさんご自身のお話ですし、それならそれで構いませんが、俺は知っている事実を話したまでです。Virus <gasps> is probably telling the truth. He has nothing to gain by coming up with such an elaborate story. But it's too much for me to take in all at once. My heart hammers against my chest as I try to figure out how, to, how I'm supposed to react. They reply with perfect innocence. <笑>シュアユアーライムで戦うお前は最高に気持ち良さそうでかっこよかったそうそうでもあなたがライムで対戦者をスクラップした時その力に気づきましたはあ本当にすごい人だったんだそして<笑> 調べていくうちに線が一本に繋がったんです。驚きましたよ。だってアオバさんはあのセイさんと同じ可能性を秘めた人だったんですから。でもあなた自身には自覚がないようでしたからね。いつどこで暴走するかわからない危険性があった。その力を俺たち以外の誰かに気づかれたら厄介でしょそこでライムの事故のことは忘れてもらうことにしたんですライムではなくちょっとした喧嘩の末の事故ってことにさせてもらったんですよモルヒネといえば人身捜査のために用意
セイさんがいなくなっても大丈夫だとは思いますよ。ああ。わい。発光装置。エレクトロルミネスント。エレクトロルミネスント。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。はん。それを解析して大型の発光装置に搭載すれば大人数にまとめて同じ効果を与えられることになる。Oh my gosh。まあ、せいさんは天性の能力を持った人間ですから、できれば失いたくはありませんが。でも、せいさんがいなくなったとしても、もう心配いりませんね。今度は、青葉さんがいますから。Goosebumps rise all over my body. I'm not their fucking guinea pig! So, there are a lot of questions. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. The men in black start to drag me out of the room. I'm not sure if I'm going to be a good person. Oh my god. Virus is wearing this horrible smirk, and I just stare at it, unable to believe what's happening. I trusted them. I thought they were pretty good guys for Yakuza. But none of that mattered. Virus and Chip exchanged confused glances. おもしろいことが好きなんです。あとすごいことと楽なこと。そうそう。東へのしそうにはあまり興味がありません。俺たちがここにいる理由は、聖さんがすごい人で、東へのそばにいれば楽できるから。ただそれだけのことですよ。You fucking bastards. So you go to. Ooh, okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna leave it here for now for the next episode. Um, okay, so I may have cheated, and、uh, we're gonna go off of the guide because I have the guide with me because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, guys. Virus and Trip, you thought they were good guys or not? I don't know. I kind of thought so from the beginning that they were kind of sketchy. But, you know, seeing as they practically stalked us through our entire childhood, I think so. So. <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be it for me for today, guys. I hope that this episode turns out good. Because I was really anxious to record this because, you know, my freaking stuff decides to buffer like a motherfucker. <laughs> So, if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to become part of the channel. Click that little ding a ling a ling, that little bub button to be notified by every new video that I post. And if you're new to the channel, please be sure to hit subscribe. Get to know me a lot better. All of my social media links will be down in the description below. And check out the full playlist of Dramatical Murder right up here by me. It'll be fun. And I really hope that you guys support me for this. So, whew, stay tuned to see what happens next. <laughs> so, I see all you gorgeous people. In the next video. Farewell! <laughs>、okay, virus and trip. Y'all creep me the fuck out now, now that I remember about you. Especially you, trip. Like, I'm getting bad vibes from you. <laughs>